Hello there, friends. Sorry for the slight delay. I worked a little bit later than usual today, and as a result, I needed to eat <laughs> before I started streaming. Um, but yeah, we're here now. We're going to get started soon. Um, please appreciate the lovely artwork done by my friend Liz. If you'd like to see more of Liz's work, you can check it out at at Liz Brawley Draws, which is Liz's Instagram. All right, everyone. So let's take a look here at what we've got. Maybe. Let's think about it. There it goes. So when last we left, we were level 38 and we were level grinding in the dragon graveyard. Now, uh, we are level 48, having finished our level grinding. You can see I actually did the grind in two sessions. So the first session lasted about, oh, four and a half hours. And we went from level 38 to level 45. And then the second session was just about let's see, five and a half hours. Um, and we only went up three more levels. That's because it's an exponential curve to level up. So even though I probably killed way more Metal King Slimes uh, between these two saves, it didn't do me as much good. But level 48 is a pretty good level to take on almost the entire rest of the game. So I'm hoping that we won't need to grind any further I know, famous last words. Anyway, let's get started. So, um, story-wise, the last thing we saw was um, Sir Leopold Rapthorn, whatever we're calling him, fly off um, towards Savella Cathedral. Well, we can't get up to where he's probably going, so we need to get wings. Uh, and to get wings, we have to find a sea chart. And to find a sea chart, we have to figure out where there are pirates. So we went and we talked to our good buddy, um, in Fairbury, uh, I'm totally blanking on his name now. Oh my goodness. Calderasha. That's it. Calderasha. We went and we saw Calderasha because we have absolutely no idea, um, where we are going. And Calderasha told us that we would find a pirate's cave somewhere up a river. So, let's look at our world map again. Whoop. If we zoom out, you can see really the only river that we can go up is the one on this continent that we are presently on. Um, yeah, so I flew here and now I'm thinking I should have flown to Alexandria. So that's where we're going to we're going to do that instead. <laughs> Because Alexandria is actually a little bit closer. Now, where's our boat in relation to us? Really? All the way down there? Ugh. Well, I don't like that one bit. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Where can where can I fly to that I'll have easy access? No, I guess I guess it's got to be Fairbury. All right. All right, fine. Back to Fairbury. Because why not? I'm on the wrong side of Fairbury. I want to be on the other side of Fairbury. Oh, 
Oh, also, if you take a quick look, you can see Yankus is actually level 49. That's because around level 42, it actually switches from the hero being the highest level in the party to Yangus being the highest level in the party. Um, and it will stay that way until you cap out at level 99, which we're probably not going to do because it takes forever and is mostly unnecessary. You should theoretically be able to beat everything that this game has to offer at probably about level 70-ish if you are doing the, like, extra, extra, extra stuff in what is technically considered the post-game. All the stuff that you don't have to complete in order to get the quote-unquote true ending of the game. And the good news is we don't have to worry about that T-Rex with an axe because he's a part of our team. And so he's not out here terrorizing people. All right, so we need to go to the river. I keep going to the river to pray. All right, so closest access to the river is actually... This way, so we'll go this way. Man, you really get the sense of the impossibleness of that island. It's not it's not technically floating. We know that it's not technically floating because we, we walked to where it was like anchored to the ground, but still. Okay, so holy protection has worn off. That's okay. We're still gonna fight enemies because Incidental EXP is still nice. We just don't need to fight enemies anymore. Speaking of which, I forgot to re-equip my, my... Boomerang. That's the word I'm looking for. Words are really hard today. I'm not sure why. Probably because today was my Monday. And Mondays are always challenging for words. Okay, free leather whip. That's random. I don't need a leather whip, but all right. Okay, so if you were a pirate cave and you were hanging out in a river, where would you be? Nothing here looks like a cave. There are no caves. You see the ocean over there? Whoa, oh, 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 that's a cave. That's roughly cavular. Hmm. Riptide, eh? Okay, well, that Riptide was not that impressive. <laughs> hmm. It looks like someone's beaten us to this cave. Oh, but there are pots to smash, so we will smash all the pots. Um... That looks like that's all there is to this. Crazies and an Octavian pirate. That's a very interesting looking pirate. Yeah, dodge this! <laughs> Alright, more pots to smash. Barrels, these are barrels. I know what barrels are. Alright, and then we could have theoretically come here previous to this moment. Um, but this door would have been locked and we wouldn't have been able to go any further. So we could have picked up that mini metal sooner, but meh. 
And now we're here. Oh, but we are not the only ones here. Recognize ya. You're that lot who got the Venus tear for me, ain't ya? Fancy seeing you again in a place like this. Red, what on earth are you doing here? Well, I heard a rumor that there's treasure here. Belong to that old pirate, Captain Crow. Mentioned treasure to me, and I'm unstoppable. I can't get enough of it. So I got myself this boat and came on down to see what I could find. By the looks of you, you're here for the same reason, eh? Oh, this could be a bit of a laugh then. First one to find it keeps it. In which case, I'd better get a wiggle on. Sure you won't mind giving me a bit of an head start. Oi, hold your horses. You can't just say all that and then run off. And there are monsters in here, you know. Look at you, going off half-cocked on your own. You must have a screw loose. Who do you think you are underestimating me like that? You should know by now how good I am at creeping around. Those monsters won't even know I'm in here. Not like you, you big fat clodhopper. Okay, rude. But it's true, in real life and in video games, I am not super stealthy. That's okay, though. Where we're going, we don't need stealth. I mean, we might want some stealth, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, so we are in the Pirate's Cove, officially. And fortunately, this place is abandoned, so no one's going to mind if we run around and smash stuff up. But you know what we could really use is a map. Is there a map in here? Please be a map. Nice. Okay, is it just me or is that flag like super badass? Like, it's like a dragon skeleton wrapped around a sword? Like, holy crap. Don't, uh, don't F with these guys. They know what they're doing. Okay, so there's two ways to go. And if I know dungeons, we want to go to the dead end first. Because there's some kind of crazy loot down there. Those are the rules, right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe yes? Hey. Okay, so it's not crazy loot, but it is a mini metal, which we are trying to collect for Princess Mini. I should probably also point out that the um, the leveling that we've done to get to this point, level 48 that is, um, has given us some pretty great skills. So you can see the hero now has 100 courage and 100 swords, 
And I started putting the rest of his points into boomerangs because that's our incidental one. Um, and then Genghis has 100 humanity, which gives him a pretty neat skill that I hope we'll get, we'll get to see at some point. And then I started putting his points into scythes. Yeah, because there's really, yeah. Angelo's our jack of all trades, master of none. So we got his stave skill up to 65 so that he can learn the oomph spell. And then we got his bow's skill up to 88 so that he could learn shining shot, which is an a, all enemy attack, finally. Um, and then we went back to fisty cuffs to increase his innate agility. Jessica, meanwhile, has gotten her whip skill up to 68, and we're now focusing on her sex appeal. And after sex appeal, we'll probably do, I don't know, knives, I guess. We could do more levels in whips, but the next, the last two skills that you learn for Jessica and whips aren't really worth anything. 68 is where she gets the bonus 25 to attack when we're, when equipped with a whip, which is really all you, you need for her. So we're uh, in the end game for those skills as well. And hi, Red. This must be Captain Crow's study, eh? Smells a bit fishy to me. There must be something in here. It's just a question of finding it. Go on, then. What you waiting for? Get looking. Wow, pushy. Oh, capybara, what monsters? I didn't even notice. I'm so sorry. Very delayed. I moved the chat further over, and I guess it's too far over because I didn't see that you messaged. Oh, the smoochy ones. The smackers. Yeah, no, they'll they'll kiss you. That's their whole thing. Um, they'll kiss you right to sleep. It's the diary of a simple Tonian. In an effort to reduce my load when out traveling, I decided to use my favorite helm as a makeshift cooking pot. One day, as I was using it to warm some fresh milk, I accidentally dropped a cow pat into it. I was all set to drink it anyway, but guess what? My helm suddenly sprouted a pair of horns. Now I can't balance it on the ground for cooking anymore. And to make matters worse, it fell over when the horns came out, so I lost the ingredients too. Oh well, I guess there's no use crying over spilt milk. Oh. Bullish headwear is a helm, cow pat, and fresh milk. All right. That's a weird recipe, but sure. Okay. None of those books are interesting. Like a Viking helmet on that table there. It's an old and tattered diary. In my youth, I sailed the seas, explored the world, and discovered more rare and valuable treasures than I can remember. But I will regret to my dying day the fact that in all my travels, I never managed to set foot on the island of the legendary Godbird. Alas, my frail old body prevents me from setting out on another arduous sea voyage. And so, as I can't go myself, I have placed a clue to finding the island within my treasure vault. You who wish to take up the mantle of my legacy, proceed through the hidden door at the back of this room and stand before me. Hmm. A book entitled Evil Weapons. Modify a battle fork with a poison weapon and combine it with a cursed item to create a demon spear. The power of evil pulses through the demon spear. You'll find that it can occasionally, occasionally take the life of an enemy with a single thrust. Hey, we made that already. Sure, let's move the decoration. We're getting real clever now. There'd be some kind of secret passage in here. Right again. Okay, sure, you knew, but like I did all of the work, so. So looks like our competition's back on track then, eh? I won't be losing to the likes of you. Okay. Note to self, do not rescue this woman from a horrible fate. 
Wee. Really? Really? Okay, fine. All right, left or right? Um, I guess left. Dead end first, am I right? No, I'm left. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Smashy smashy. Really? I walked all the way over here for nothing? Well, that's just rude. Are we sure? I didn't, I didn't know. That's all there was, and it wasn't even worth the walk. Okay, cool. Cool. Nice. Good chat. Okay, that's where we came from. <sighs> okay, we're going to do this just so you guys can see. This is the skill Yangus gets at uh, 100 humanity. It's basically a parade of old dudes. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly, once you've got Yangus's axe skill up to 82, I always go for humanity and I max out humanity just for that skill. Not because it's super useful, but because it's very entertaining. Oh my goodness. He shouts granddad and they all come running. Yes, rock salt. We like rock salt. Okay, where am I? Okay, I can go straight across and then down. I, you know what? I feel like I want to do that. I feel like that's where we want to go. So we're going to do that. And see where we end up. It's very it's a very special skill. It's magical. This is clearly the wrong way. Okay. <clears throat> but we do want to make sure we get over to the other side of that, so. Go back. That's a lot of enemies. Oh man.
We'll show off. Shining shot, why not? Actually, I think there's a good reason not to do shining shot, but I, you know, this way you can see what it looks like. Yeah. For some reason, because it's a light-based skill, it doesn't hit those lesser demon things. I don't know why, but for some reason they're immune to that and lightning. I got nothing. I really do. Okay, we came from the last room. Right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, we meet again. Just so as you know, there's nothing to see here. Up to you whether you believe me or not. Well, I don't. But thank you for the chat. I forgot to give you Angus's axe back, didn't I? Sure did. Fine. Just throw feet at them. Yeah, there was a treasure chest down there, and I want it. I want the precious. We definitely want all the middle mini metals. They are very important. Hey, incidental level up. Yeah, and there's really nothing else that I need him to have. He's got all the sword skills I want. He's got all the courage skills I want. Everything else is just like, yeah, sure, that might be nice to have. Hey, that is definitely nice to have. An attack boost with the boomerang. Yeah, we're fans of that. Okay. What's across? What's over here? There's like a lever thing. Yeah, let's turn it. So moving the handle makes the water go down, eh? Well, thanks for that. Now I can get even further ahead of you. Bad luck, eh? Must be a bit annoying that you figured it out, but I'm the one to benefit. Yep. Okay. Well, can't be helped. It is what it is. Sure, let's see how that works. It didn't. <laughs> Some enemies are naturally immune to the thwack spells.
Dodge this, launch his entire body. <laughs> Alrighty, Rooney. I think... We just have to go back a little bit. And then up and around a little bit. Okay, so straight across now. All right, which one do we think is the mimic? Okay, is it this one? Oh, hey, neither of them was a mimic. Go figure. <laughs> I definitely thought one of those was going to be a mimic. So what did we pick up? A strange helm surrounded by an air of danger. And a handy monster bone soup, sh monster bone shield that can be boiled up to make delicious soup. Well. Well. <laughs> um, I think maybe we could do a little bit of a shield reshuffle. Give that one to Angelo and then give the bone one to Yangus. There we go. Okay, we weren't cursed. That's a good thing. Um, oh, I should also point out, I did, while I was leveling, l um, create some new items. So we created this holy talisman to protect from sudden death. And let's see, I also made at least one. Where is it? Yeah, here. Two Catholicon rings, um, which prevent a whole slew of things and also is a boost of 15 to defense. So a very nice ring to have. It doesn't protect from instant death, which is why we went ahead and we made one of these as well. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember at what point we need those, but I know I know we do. I know we need those. Anyway, sort this. Let's see. What's the what's the sword situation looking like? That that's still my best sword, the Dragon Slayer. Other than of course the Falcon Blade. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just hang on to the Falcon Blade for now. Okay. What was I doing? We were going around our elbow to get to the to the To wherever it was that Red just jumped ahead of us.
Oh, snap. Dang it, Angelo. Ow. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> no, no, just use it. Gosh. There we go. Yeah, if you don't cure yourself of poison and then you start walking around, it does one point of damage for every step that you take. So I don't recommend that. <laughs> always, always, always. Heal yourself. We. Oh, good lord. Oh, right. It's because we couldn't go that way. Because that would have simplified our lives, but it wasn't an option. So, here we are. Hmm. <clears throat> Down the ladder we go. <clears throat> the enemies don't notice the party's presence. We can take care of that. Nothing in it. <laughs> All right, in we go. What took you so long? Looks like the goodies are mine, eh? We did say it was first come, first served. Ahoy there! They call me Captain Crow. Long ago, I were one of the pirates who sailed the seven seas. Think you can take my treasure, do you? Think you've got what it takes? Yo ho ho then! Prove it by fighting me. Else get your hands off me, too. Oh, fighting ain't really my cup of tea, but. What are you doing getting yourself into this? Okay. We're going to give that... Yeah, to Jessica. Do I have... No, no, I do not. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Did 
Just because there's really no reason not to use them because they're not hard for us to replace at the moment, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Hi. So, you're after me treasure, I We're can. after your lucky charms, that's right. <laughs> You'll have to fight me first, mateys. All right. I'm okay with this. All right, this is what, as I recall, not a super easy fight, but we are significantly overleveled for it, so it should be fine. Famous last words. <laughs> Typical pirate. Yeah, that's one of the things Captain Crow will do is that he will also uh, tense himself up and then, like, just instant kill one of your team members. So we, a long time ago, got this skill for Angelo in anticipation of this fight, um, and it reduces the enemy's tension level by one. So instead of him being able to, like, fully tense in two turns, it'll take him an extra turn, or he has to not be fully tensed. Those are his choices, essentially. I just love it because it's like his skill is derisive laughter. Ah, dang it. Well, okay. I couldn't remember if he knew how to do that or not. So with that in mind, forget all of this nonsense. We are still going to try for oomph. Distracted twice. What a dumbass pirate. I'm pretty sure that wave of ice thing he did just like sacrificed his own tension level for no apparent reason. Like, what the heck, man? What the heck? It's fine. We're just gonna, you know, snigger at him again.
Yeah, but it wasn't that high to begin with. Thank you, thank you, Angelo. Um, because he can fully psych himself up and then do that thin air attack and take out your entire party at once. Yay! Hey, boo. We don't we don't like that. We're not fans. not fans at all. Which is why we just sarcastically snigger at him. There's an upgraded version of that that's like Chilling Chuckle or something like that that affects an entire group of enemies at once. But I've never found it to be necessary on a group. I've only ever found it to be useful on individual enemies and typically bosses. So I don't worry too much about leveling that up. Unless I'm also going for other charisma skills for Angelo. Oh, dang it. Didn't work that time. <laughs> He's like a much more threatening, much younger Nappa. Defense returns to normal, you say? I can take care of that. Hmm. Just really hasn't been that big of an issue to deal with. There we go. Yeah, we were way over leveled for this fight. You could theoretically do this fight at level 40. Um, I have had trouble with this fight at level 40. The last time I played through this, I'm pretty sure I went all the way to level 43 because he just kept wiping me out in one go. But that was also before I found out about the sarcastic sniggering, so... Ba -bum -bum. Hey, pirate hat! Shiver me timbers, you beat old Captain Crow. Tis a good sign. My treasure be yours. Ha <laughs> ha. Me old heart at least. Take my treasure and fulfill the dream I never could. <laughs> He's just been ghost guarding this chest for however long. An illuminated sea chart. Something I wanted you to see. And you've gone and got the bounty to boot. Hang on. Is that all it is? That scraggy old bit of paper? That's pathetic. If I'd have known it was as naff as that, I'd never have bothered. I suppose I'll just have to make do with the 10,000 gold coins I picked up on the way. Right, I'm out of here. I've had enough of this damn old to last me a lifetime. She got all that dough down here. She's a sly old fox, that red. Well, we got what we come for. Ain't no point in us hanging around here no more, neither. Correct. As astute as always, Yangus. Let's get the F out of Dodge. You're right, Capybara. It would be wonderful to laugh at people to make them less powerful. All right, so what did we get? What'd we get? What'd we get? We got a hat. Is this, is this a good hat for anyone? I mean, no. <laughs> a sea ro glows brightly on the map. Okay, so that southernmost continent is the one we're trying to get to because it's surrounded by high cliffs and we can't land anywhere on it. But apparently there is a path that we can take to get there. So, 
That's pretty close to Neos. Let us heal up first at the lovely Seaview Church. We'll probably also go ahead and save because we did a thing. It's always good to save after you've done a thing. Also, will tell us whether or not we can talk to Medea. Okay. She didn't have anything to say to us in our dreams, so that's something. We'd like to save. That is, that is correct. Save early, save often. Yeah, just don't, don't bung it up. Yes. Yes, it's the Our Lady of Save State song. All right. Should we go to the Mystic Spring just to see if the princess does have anything to say to us? I like talking to the princess. She's cool. She's like the chillest princess about being a horse. But sometimes she doesn't have anything to say to us, so it'll it'll tell us if she doesn't have anything to say. Okay, she's got something to say. Oh, no, I guess she didn't have anything dramatic to say. It was just a moment of togetherness ain't that cute all right so that um x place that marks the spot is closest to neos so we're gonna go to neos sorry i'm having cord issues okay boom there's the boat back back to the boat probably put my boomerang back on. Not that it would have mattered for those enemies because they were weak as crap. But that's, you know, because we're way over leveled for this part of the game. Don't worry, the game will catch up very quickly, as it always does. <laughs> and I'm hopeful that, oh man, look at all the gold. Look at the gold. Ah, the gold. Yeah, we're not mad about that. All right. Man, almost 3,000 gold. Arr. Not that we need gold, because we have all those casino tokens, and we can go get gold whenever we freaking want gold, but... Which... Remind me to get gold later, because we're going to need that. Okay, so... From here, we need to go slightly northwest. So, this way. I think it's these pokey rocks over here.
Rude. What is with this dude? Thank you, Yangus. Do you see how, how he, like, juked me, like, four times? Okay, it was three times, because then that fourth time, Yangus was like, all right, no, dodge this. Dodge this axe. Magic bullshit, go! <laughs> so, this part's weird because, like, for whatever reason, it is not a straight shot. And if you do not stay on the path, the path will disappear and you won't be able to <laughs> you won't you won't be able to go where it is that you're trying to go you have to you have to follow this windy curvy path uh the rendering of it's weird though it's supposed to be like brightly illuminated but for whatever reason it's not <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we'll have to take it up with the sages of old who left this C chart behind for us because they made it very confusing for no good reason. So we are officially landed on the Godbird Isle. Um, and this is the part that sucks because we have to walk everywhere now. There are no wild cats on this isle that respond to Bomrin's bell. Here, I will demonstrate. The bell does not work here because this is the first time anyone has been on this aisle um, in a very, very long time. So, with that said, we are going to try to do all of the things that we can do here because there is a lot to do here. And I just want to make sure that we cap... We we get it all done. So um, I've got my map pulled up so that I make sure that we pick up all of the necessary treasure chests that we need. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. You know what? Yeah. Get that guy. You get that guy. And you get everybody. Rude. A little, little slow there, bud. Just a little bit slow. Rude! There we go. Now he's dead. I mean, they're just trying to live. I get it. I get it. 
doesn't mean I gotta like it, but I do get it. So much walking. So, so much walking. The good news is, y'all, we made it to December. <laughs> it is officially December. <gasps> Cow! Thanks, cow. You are you are a good cow. You are a good cow. A pretty cow. Bonus Chimera Wing. Uh, not two shabs. You gotta climb all the way up. Keep going. Keep going. Up and around. Oh, hey. Well, no. It looks like there's a town. Let's go to the town first. Town's like over here somewhere? Yeah, there's the town. We're going to go to the town and then we're going to grab a couple of treasure chests. Hmm? You're not from this island, are you? You see? We surround by steep cliffs. I am shocked to see outsiders here. Gontashar! Welcome to Empichu. In our native tongue, Empichu means those who venerate the godbird Imperia. So you have a native tongue, but you just so happen to speak the language that I also speak. That is convenient for me! Yep. We love that very handy dandy plot armor. Hello there. You saw shadow of large bird? It's Imperia, the god bird. Imperia is very mysterious bird. She only show us her shadow. It was so rare to see her shadow, so rare for us. But recently we see her shadow more and more often. Oh, Mrs. Riggsy, you've missed it. We have a license to smash. Um, and we bust it out every time we enter a new town. Our lovely license to smash. Um, it also is a license to rifle through things. We are certified wardrobe and bag inspectors. Yep. Nothing in this bag. Your bag is clear. Not to worry, citizens. I have a license. A license to smash. Hello there, sir. I'm going to smash these. You ignore me. You're doing a great job. Thank you, citizen. There's a peddler here. That's weird. Gotashar! Wait! Are you customers? Actual customers? The people of this village don't buy and sell goods, so this is a rare pleasure. It's been so long since I've seen anyone from outside in Pichu. Come, have a look. I have many items for you to see. Welcome to the trading post shop. How may I help you? Wait, if the people here don't buy and sell, why are you still trying? <laughs> and like, how long have you been here, bud? Have you lost your damn mind? Is that... Do... Are, are you being held captive? Do you need assistance? Okay, well, we definitely need two of those. Yeah. The bag. The bag will carry those. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Jessica needs one of those. But also, a flame shield can be used to create an upgraded boomerang for us. So we're going to buy two. Yes. The bag will carry those. Thank you. Uh, not useful. Not useful. 
not super useful. Okay, cool. Nope, that's it. Man, we're not even remotely broke. That's so weird. Okay. Up above. Transfer. One for you. Mm hmm. And one for me. And one for you. And one for me! Oh, I didn't even remember what I had in the alchemy pot. I totally forgot. Probably should have checked that when we first got in. That's all right. Okay, so... Flame shield plus the razor wing boomerang. Pretty sure that's the recipe. Crud! That means I have to go look it up. That's what that means. <laughs> Hold, please. Research. Additional research required. It's actually, it's the swallowtail. So I need to unequip that in order to put it in the pot. I just had the wrong boomerang in mind. Doop, that one. There we go. Huzzah! Um, that is an item that we can't, are going to find in a treasure chest later, but it's easier to just make it now because we can make it now. All right. Do you have things I can, Ooh, you have a treasure chest. I'm helping. All right. Pardon me. I fully licensed smasher here. Thank you much, Lee. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. There's a big house here. You know what? Let's save the big house for last. Pardon me, miss. If you wish to learn about Imperia, please talk to the chief. He loves telling stories. You see? The large hut over there. That is the chief's. Okay. I knew there was a reason I was saving it for last. Because that's where we'll advance the story. All right. Uh, this is a hut full of children. Fascinating. I cannot get around this child, okay? But you have things I need to smash, children. I am a fully licensed adult smasher. Yay! Thank you for the mini metal. Do all the children leave in one hut? This hut is only for children. Are you surprised? So are the others, too, who come from outside the island. We prepare foods, cleanings, and take care of the littlest ones. Together. We all go home at the night, though. Many monsters outside now. It is dangerous. I mean, that sounds... That sounds right. It is dangerous. All right. I think that makes all of the little huts. So now we go to the big hut. Smashy, smashy. Oh, man. We're definitely going to get that Orhalcum from uh, Princess Minnie. We'll go see her next. Sup, bruh? Because of Imperia, all the monsters very angry. It is very hard to hunt for food now. I am angry, too. At the Godbird. I know she is our holy Godbird, but I cannot eat my tongue. I would tell her myself, but she shows nothing to us. Nothing but her shadow. Ugh! I am even more angry. All right. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. No. Hmm? Who are you? Gojashar, Gojashar. You do not seem to be of this village. 
Yeah, so I'm actually hunting, like, a dude, and um, he can fly now, and I need to go see the godbird so that I can also fly, because I was told she could help me fly. I see. So you want to learn about the godbird Imperia? I praise your inquisitive attitude. According to legend, Imperia once could travel freely between two worlds. The first world is called the World of Light, and it is the world we inhabit. The other is called the World of Darkness. This ability to travel freely was a very special one. It was only granted to Imperia. One day, the evil ruler of the World of Darkness built a huge gate between the two worlds. He was unsatisfied, you see. He wanted to conquer not just the World of Darkness, but the World of Light as well. To prevent a catastrophe, Empyria flew to the World of Darkness and used all her power to close the gate herself. It is said in the legends that her efforts worked. The gate was successfully closed. Unfortunately, she had no energy left to return to the World of Light. All that remains to this day is her shadow. It is also said that her shadow occasionally creates a doorway, an entrance to the world of darkness called the Dark Eye. To be honest, I do not know exactly what it is, but it is said that if you walk through the Dark Eye, your next step will be into the world of darkness. So I strongly advise you not to casually follow the shadow of Imperia, for you may fall into the Dark Eye without even noticing it. All right. Well, I guess I know what we have to do next. <laughs> smashy, smashy. Open chesty. All right. Hey, look, there's a priest here. By the goddess! Visitors? Spiffing! I am the priest of this little settlement. I found my way here when my ship was wrecked on the shoals off this island many years ago. Of course, it was all the will of the goddess. Ever since then, I have devoted my life to teaching the natives here about her truth. I must admit, it hasn't always been easy. No, I shall not bemoan this great responsibility which the goddess has bestowed upon me. She has entrusted her wayward sheep to my care. It is a sacred mission. <clears throat> Pardon me. Faithful servant of the goddess! How may our church assist you? Well... We just saved, but it doesn't hurt to save again. This way I don't have to walk back up that slope again if anything weird happens. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yes, yes, we do intend to continue our adventure at this point. Thank you much, Lee. Go to Shar. You are not from here. Your clothes, they give you away. You must be very tired from your long journey. Please, why don't you stay a night here? It's okay. I won't expect anything in return. Make yourselves at home. All right, we'll do just that. Go to Shar, or is it good morning, as you say, outside the island? When you need a rest, you come anytime. You are always welcome here. Sweet. Quit guarding this sweet-ass pot. Yeah. I mean, thank you. You have a lovely home. All right. I think we smashed everything that we needed to smash here in the village. Pretty sure. Yeah, we smashed those pots immediately upon walking in. So now it's time to go explore this island. For which we're going to start by going around the back. Well, that's weird. I have n I have genuinely no idea what that's about. I've never seen that before. <laughs> 
I mean, you know, the the joys of playing on an emulator. <laughs> sometimes shit gets weird. And sometimes Angus ran randomly levels up. And we're okay with that. So there are two chests here that I want to make sure that we go pick up. Um, one's got a mini metal in it, and one has an elfin elixir. Oh, and then there is a third chest that I want to go get, because it's got um, a mighty armlet in it. So we're going to start with this one over here. Y'all probably saw... Oh, cows. So many cows. Hi, cows. Man, I don't know what it is, but just, like, talking to animals in video games gives me so much joy. Like, we're here for that serotonin boost. Any metal. Yeah, it's like the game thinks that there's something casting a shadow over there, but there isn't. So I, you know, I really, I have no idea what that's about. I really don't know. Because hmm. it's doing it on these trees too. So unusual. There's a troll in the dungeon! Just thought you'd like to know. All right, troll no mas. All right, this one should have the elfin elixir in it. Been up, thank you. All right, there's our elfin elixir. Actually, we did pick up a mini metal, didn't we? We should go visit our lovely princess of mini metals. It's a shame not everybody can just teleport to places they've been before, or else nobody would get trapped in Impichu. But, you know, video game logic. Delightful. You've brought one some mini medals already. Let one have a look then. This brings the total number you've brought one to 86. Permit one to bestow upon you a piece of our halcom as an expression of gratitude for the 83 mini medals you have collected on our behalf. To date, you have brought one 86 mini medals. When the total reaches 90 metals, one shall bestow upon you a Metal King Helm, an expression of our gratitude for your sterling efforts. Isn't it thrilling? Woof. Say what you want about my fake British accent, but I think it's still an improvement on Vanessa Hudgens. All right, so now that we have that that particular item, the Orhalcum, or however you want to pronounce it, 
Um, we have a lot of choices to make about what we want to use that in because we can make many, many, many things with it. Um, and some of them are very, very good. And others of them are just kind of good. Um, gosh. So we could make a meteorite bracer or metal king armor or a liquid metal sword or a sage's stone. Um, and the sage's stone is particularly tempting because it is an item you can use that casts multi-heal, essentially. Um, and so it would give to whoever was holding it the ability to heal everyone in the party at once, regardless of whether or not they can cast spells, which is a very beneficial item to have. Um, is that shadow seriously like fake Imperia? Oh, that's going to be really awkward. Oh. Oh, this is going to get weird, y'all. Oh, no. No, that's going to be a problem. See, because to get to the world of darkness, we actually do have to follow the shadow. Uh, and if If there's no shadow to follow, we can't get there. So... <clears throat> okay, alright. Okay. What is happening? Oh my gosh, what is happening? Okay, well, we're I'm not going to panic yet. I choose not to panic. Um, we're going to finish collecting the treasure chests that are out here that I want to collect. I think I think it's this way. There should be Oh my gosh, this is, you guys, this is so weird. Okay, well, we're gonna... Okay, so we got our mighty armlet. Um, we're gonna, we're just gonna go back to impeach you. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if there is something we have to do to trigger... Um, like, talk to one of them about this thing in the center of town here. Yeah, that large gate-shaped rock over there, it's for Imperia. It's roost for her if she ever come to impeach you again. If you leave village and walk left, there is grass field. Large rock with same shape is there. Impeachy people say it is original roost of the godbird. People often see Imperia's shadow near it. That's why we think of it as her roost. Okay. Here's hoping. Here's hoping, y'all. Because literally, if there is no shadow to follow, we, ca we can't. I went the wrong way. I meant to turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? It feel I think we're also losing daylight. Um, and the shadow does disappear at night as well. Okay, Helligator, I see you. Okay, it's, it's fine. Everything's fine. No one is panicking.
Hmm. We're panicking a little bit now. Um. Okay. We're gonna go back to impeach you. We're gonna spend the night. We're gonna save. And then if we have to, we will restart the emulator. Because the emulator has been running for a couple of days. So. Hopefully that will fix the problem. Um, the reason we're running an old version of this emulator is because for whatever reason, the newer versions, the audio files don't work. So... We have gameplay, but no audio, like literally none. There is no soundtrack. There are no sound effects and there's definitely no voice track. Um, oh my gosh, bruh. Like, I don't need your whole life story. We talked already. Come on. Thank you. I would like to save. Yes. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna save a, another new slot just because maybe slot 13 is cursed. Who knows? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna try it again. Whoop. Okay, so it is it is morning now on the Godbird Isle. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No. Get out of here, you Tyrannosauruses. Yeah, that's not looking too great. I am 100% not sure what this whole thing is doing. So we're going to stand here for a minute and see if the shadows move significantly or like peel off. And like start going someplace because that is what is supposed to happen. Like, you just hang out here until the shadow shows up, and then you follow it. And it doesn't matter that I know where it is going to end up, because if you do not follow it, it will not go there. <laughs> Because the god bird herself has to has to leave you in order to create the portal. Oh no. Oh no. Literally game breaking. Like literally. I don't even see there was a shadow moving, and then we got here, and we stood here, and now there is no shadow moving. Which is a bit of a problem. Okay. Okay.
we are here. But Imperia's shadow is not here. also super weird because I don't know what's happening like here I'm not sure if it's gonna soft lock us I hope not um I'm gonna try okay see now now that's moving again you see that because this is where it should be And I'm wondering if the game is just struggling to figure out. Okay, we're just going to try following this weird shadow and see what happens. Because <laughs> I got... No other plans. If following this weird shadow around does not work, we are going to reset. I do recall that it takes a very cir circuitous path to get to where we are trying to go. So as long as we can follow it. Hopefully it will work. Hopefully. I might put on holy protection for this because I'm just kind of stressed out about it. <laughs> other instances of weird emulator things happen in this playthrough specifically with the flashbacks for whatever reason um the ones that are like in black and white also like they they just don't appear at all which is troubling but I'm going to continue to follow this because I, it's doing something. I don't know if it is doing the thing we need, but it's doing something. No, it's nighttime. Nighttime is coming. No. But this is right because she does fly us over this thing. And we have to walk through this poison, which sucks. That's a magical mace in that chest, in case anybody was curious. Okay. And now it should go up and then to the right. Oh, please work. Oh, please, please, please work. No. 
No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, so that was the shape we were supposed to be following this whole time. It's supposed to be a bird shape. Oh my God, I'm so relieved that it worked, you guys. I'm so relieved. I was so stressed out about it. Oh, good Lord. Okay. As a reward, everybody gets healed. <laughs> oh, flip. Wow, that sucked. That sucked so hard. Okay, I was also worried about the dark world rendering correctly. Because as you can see, it is also black and white, but it looks like it ha it is rendering correctly, so... I, I guess I don't need holy protection anymore. Although I should give myself the boomerang that I made. I didn't put it in my inventory. Yes, please. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And yes, there are treasure chests here in the dark world. And they do have stuff in them that we want. Oh man, I'm so relieved that one, that worked, and two, that this black and white area is rendered correctly. But I think part of the reason it's rendered correctly is because we have our characters still in color, and the flashback sequences, everything is black and white. And that's why they don't work properly on this just old as crap emulator. But, you know, for a 15-year-old game, I think that this is pretty impressive. So, okay, where are we? We're over here. I just picked up that mini metal. There are four chests on this island in the Dark World. Um, two of them are, like, in that area that's currently immediately to the east of where we're standing. That's where the boat landed in the Light World. Um, but they are items that I don't personally think we need, so I'm not going to go get them because why waste my time and yours, am I right? So we're just going to head over to Impeachu again, I guess, for lack of anything better. A Darkadile! It's really weird, but it's kind of what I think TikTok Croc looks like. Just, you know, black. Instead of normal crocodile color. There you go. Yeah, suck it. Um, and then the last treasure chest is much like that first mini metal chest we opened. It's right next to Impichu, so it's not that big of a deal to go get. We got hit with a slime spank. I don't I don't know what to say about that other than we got hit with a slime spank. Okay, so there's the roost again. But we want to go to impeach you first. We're just going to keep going this way. Well. Meh. Yeah. We'll go this way.
I feel like there's a metaphor here. Us being the brightest colored thing in this, like, absolute gray and white landscape. In case y'all ever wondered what karaoke with me looks like, it's this dark sea diva. And my go-to songs are Don't Stop Believin' and Gives You Hell. Okay, we'll take the strong medicine. Do I need to heal? Nah. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Hey, look, there's the entrance. I guess we gotta fight something else first. I guess they're immune to wind attacks. That's interesting. Air attacks, I guess. Not wind attacks. Um, it should be noted that while we're in the dark world, we literally have nowhere else to teleport besides Impichu. It's the only place we can teleport to. Dokik toik ningapo jutak hanek ju. Kot kim jo dag ninge mitai. Ninga dat? Teman ilok zuit exukat extellen imperia kulaksit? Ti konikat kiken naksu daka hetan kugek nix hantri. Oh my, chow yon kun. Oh, okay. It's beefing. <laughs> Well, we're about to turn their whole world upside down. Ah, so this is what all the fuss was about. If I'm not mistaken, you must have come through the dark eye. You are dwellers from the world of light, no? Yes. Just as I thought. Then it might must be the will of the goddess that brings you to us. Well, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Perhaps you would visit me in my home later. If you will just promise me that you can take your time and look around the village as much as you like. I will be waiting then. My home is the largest dwelling here. So you'll know where to find me. Flock of Empichu. Let us go back to our work and carry on as a normal. Do not forget to be kind to strangers. All right, so guess what? We have a new place to smash. Oh yeah. 
I need people to talk to. Godeshar! Sho! You are from the world of light! I see, I see. No wonder, then, why you are different from us. To see outsiders here, it is very unusual. But you are even more unusual. You come from the world of light! I am so surprised! Godeshar! Welcome to Impichu! In our native tongue, Empichu means those who venerate the Godbird Imperia. But if you ask me, that bad bird does not deserve the name Godbird. Okay, so apparently there's something going on. There's some tea here. Is it delicious or is it poison? Alright. Bag inspection. Let me feel your sack. Everything checks out. Good news. Alright, alright. Carry on. I heard that Imperia can travel freely between the world of darkness and the world of light. But now she lost her power. She has to stay in the world of darkness. Why she has to stay here? If she stay in the world of light, our village would not be attacked. Okay. Alright. So maybe Imperia is not as great for these people as uh, we might have hoped. Alright, this is the kids' tent? Yeah, kids' tent. Hey, rock salt. I like rock salt. Imperia did not break our hut. All we have is small rip. She did not come close to us. Imperia scared of children? Chief told us, your world and our world are like two sides of same gold coin. He also said those two worlds are very, very close in distance, but still none may travel freely, except Imperia. If Chief speaks right, how you managed to come to this world? I don't understand. Y'all, me neither, but like, I don't know. We of Impichu have worshipped colorful Imperia generations by generations. Imperia, she always watching over us from the monsters. She was very nice to us, but now... Now she attacking us. She destroying all our trusts between us. Nobody was hurt, but she damaged our huts. What is she... Why is she doing to us? Why? Why she is doing to us. There we go. That's what that sentence was supposed to say. Godeshar! Customers doesn't have much to offer. Okay. Is it the same stuff as the World of Light? Yes, it is. Just in case you couldn't afford things before, and you can now. No, we're good, bruh. Thanks. Let me, uh, smash your pots, though. Whee! And do you have a treasure chest I can open? You do. Arr. Treasure! That is what you are! Oh no, the horsey! No, the horsey! Oh! <laughs> Oh, the horsey! He'll be okay, right? He'll be fine. The horsey will be fine. I've decided. I've, I have ordained it thus. The horsey will be fine. Did we smash these things yet? You know what? I think we might have missed a hut in the World of Light. That's okay. We'll get back to it. Hey, cold cheese. Stupid bird! Stupid Imperia! I will throw you down with my arrow! Wow, he mad. Okay. Why are there so many mini metals in the world of darkness? I don't know, but there are. Long, long time ago, the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, ruled the complete world of darkness. Once he tried to reach the world of light, but Imperia stopped him. Since then, we have worshipped her as the godbird. Is why now the situation is so sad, so unfortunate. 
If she attacks us again, we have no choice to fight her. It is shame, but no choice. Okay, so she is good, or she was good, but now she's attacking them, and they don't know why. Hey, you people of the world of light, I have got something to tell. I am so angry at Imperia. Break that roost. She no need it. She not welcome here. Stupid bird hurt my horses. Who does she think she is? I am right there with you, bro. Listen. Your injured horse is very sad, and it makes me sad. So, like... Premium mold. Hmm. Inspect your cabinets. So many mini metals, y'all. So many. And dragon scales. Oh, uh, I should point out that we have a crap ton of dragon scales right now. We have 13 dragon scales from all that level grinding we were doing in the dragon graveyard. Anytime you scare away uh, an enemy, they have a chance to drop loot. Uh, and this game actually only has like four dragon scales beat it, built into it. So that means we've gotten like nine just from scaring dudes off, which is fun. Godashar, you are not from here. I heard from the chief. You are from World of Light. You must be very tired from your visit to our world. There is a hole in the roof. But please, why don't you stay a night here? Don't mind if I do. Godashar, or is it good morning as you say outside the island? You looked well. When you need a rest, you come any time. Alright, did I smash this pie yet? I don't think I did. Okay, it didn't matter. It was empty. Empiria is a problem, but the monster's getting stronger. This is worrying us even more. Some say that very unusual monster has appeared. It was seen around the tallest mountain, the Godbird's Eerie. And you're coming here. It is also an unusual sign. It makes me worry. Is something bad going to happen to our island? Godishar, welcome to Impichu. You've seen our village, yes? Then let me tell you something. I assume the others have told you that Imperia was all responsible for the attack on our village. It is natural to think this, but to be honest, I am not fully convinced that she wished to cause us any harm. Since times of old, Imperia has been venerated by the people of Impichu. It was not simply because she was pretty. It was because she has protected us. I beg of you. Will you find out why Imperia continues to attack us? I believe there is some hidden meaning behind her actions. I also believe that your arrival here is not an accident. I believe it to be fate. Only Imperia may cross between the world of darkness and the world of light. It is she who guided you here, correct? Uh, well... See, there was this weird box of shadow, and I kind of chased it, but it wasn't like a bird. Ch it's fine. Then Imperia must be thinking something. She may reveal the truth to you. I apologize for putting such a burden on your shoulders. But if nothing is done, I will not be able to stop the people of Impichu from attacking Imperia. A war with Imperia would only lead to a tragedy. This is why I want you to find out why the Godbird is attacking us. Will you accept my request? Absolutely. We need to go talk to that bird anyway. So you will do it. I thank you. And now I shall tell you how to find Imperia. She is often seen near Imperius Roost, a large rock formation in a nearby field. That got weirdly laggy, y'all. Uh-oh. I suggest looking for her there first. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening here? What? Something just freaked out. I did not restart the emulator, no. But we're gonna save. And then I will restart the emulator. Oh, but this guy has so much text before he lets us save. 
Oh no. Yes, please let me save my game before this whole thing crashes. Oh my goodness. Yes, 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 let me save. Let me save. <laughs> oh my god, please let me save. What is happening? This one. Okay. Okay. That was what? Okay. All right. We're going to we're going to say no, friends. Um jeez, what time is it? 10:30. I let me uh, let me restart the emulator. In the meantime, please enjoy this lovely artwork. <laughs> I do not know why this is happening. I really don't. We're going to close it. We're going to check to see if there are any other things running that might be causing this very intense slowdown for whatever reason. Ugh, Google Chrome, why are you like this? Hmm. Okay, let's see if that takes care of it. Rebooting, friends. Rebooting. Good lord. Like, for whatever reason, every single one of my cores just spiked really hard. I'm not sure why. Although, hmm. No, that's not where I put that. There we go. That's where we are. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, friends. I think it's coming back okay.
Dark and Pichu, take three. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can't talk to Imperia. I completely closed Google Chrome because I don't know if that is what was doing it. Um, I also have one of those like task assistant things that periodically pops up on the side and says, hey, I kept this out of the way for you while you were in full screen mode. Um, but it still does that while you're in full screen mode, so I'm not entirely certain what the point of it is, you know? Okay, we seem to be back in business, my friends. And what's even better, the alchemy pot is finished. Da 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 da! The liquid metal sl sword! Slord? Wow. Um, one of the best swords in the game. It, it's up there. Uh, and it, because it is liquid metal, you can use it against, um, metal slimes. It is effective against them. Whoops. Gosh darn it. There. That's the button I meant. Back to making cheeses, my friends. So many cheeses. So yeah, you could see it's uh, an extra 70 attack, which is nice. No, we're not gonna equip it right now, but when we get to big bad things, we definitely wanna have it handy for killing big bad things. Okay, there's the roost. Let's go see about the roost. Thanks everybody for sticking with me through that uh, weirdness with the emulator. It it seems like we got it fixed, so shouldn't be an issue going forward. Sorry, what? I have to fight you? I don't want to fight you, you're pretty. And I thought we could be friends. We can't be friends? Okay, fine. Well, we are not taking the chance that this bird has wave of ice. We're just gonna straight up. We go in, we go in to attack. Hmm. Oh, that didn't lower her attack. Her defense, rather. Oof, rude. Yeah, we were afraid of that. And that's why we didn't bother to psych up. <laughs> We're going to try that again. She can't do wave of ice every turn, right? 
famous last words. <laughs> Time to heal, and I guess we're just going in. Just going in. Um, full disclosure, y'all, I forgot that this is a battle we were gonna have to fight. I straight up forgot that this was a thing. to having her defense lowered because that's a problem ouch ouch the ouch ouch let's see let's see isn't affected all right well frick frickety frick fracks All right, I guess we can stop doing that if it's not going to do anything. Please don't kill Angelo. I need him. Ow. That was a lot of MP for 184 points of damage. Oh, but she's feeling it now. She's going in for the healing spells. Lame, Imperia. Come on, girl. You're better than this. Oh no. There we go. Really? I didn't want to fight you, Queen. Not what I was here for. Thanks for not killing me. You are brave to have followed my shadow here from the world of light. And you are able fighters. Perhaps you have realized already, but that battle was a test. Please forgive my methods, but I am in search of someone strong to help me. What do you mean? Surely you don't expect us to help you attack the village? I'm afraid you've misjudged us. We're not about to help you with your tyrannous scheme. Please do not misunderstand me. It was never my desire to attack the village. That too is part of the reason why I am in need of help. When Rapthorn, Lord of Darkness, attempted to conquer the world of light. I helped the sages to seal him away.
Hang on, it's being weird again. In so doing, I earned the enmity of the monstrous servants of Rapthorn. That is why I am in this predicament. I have a baby, an egg in my nest. I have been waiting for the day it would hatch. But my nest has been captured by Gemon, one of Rapthorn's foul minions. He is holding my egg hostage. He forced me to attack the human village. I could not refuse if I wanted to save my child. Normally, I would have nothing to fear from the likes of Gemon. But as long as he has my egg, I am powerless to oppose him. That is why I must find someone to fight him in my place. Someone brave and strong. You did not waver in following my shadow here to the world of darkness. Such bravery is rare. And now you have proven your strength in battle. I have no doubt that you are the only ones brave enough and strong enough to defeat Gemon. Please help me. Save my egg. For me, for my unborn child, and for the people of this island. Yes. Thank you. I was right to choose you. My nest is on a precipice at the summit of a mountain far beyond the reach of humans. Gemon will be watching for me, so I cannot take you all the way to the top, but I can take you to the mountain's base. Are you ready to go now? Uh, you kind of just smacked the crap out of us, but yeah, we're good. Then I will take you. All of you, climb into the wagon, or hold on tight. This is as far as I can take you. I dare not approach any closer, lest Gemon see me. But the mountain is riddled with caves. It should be possible for you humans to ascend to its summit on foot. When you wish to return to the hill, call for me and I will take you back. Farewell for now. Please save my egg. You are my only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, no, sorry. Wrong, uh, sorry. Yeah, we're good. Uh... Again, we're ridiculously overleveled. Uh, the recommended level for this place, according to my guide, is 37. Uh, and we're level 49. So, you know, we're fine. Totally fine. It's all good. It's all good in the hood.
Y'all, we love a map, am I right? <laughs> Okay. So back down and around. Dark turkey kind of sounds like a Shakespearean insult. Thou dark turkey! Incidental level up. Incidental level up. Alright. Pretty sure we were doing 50, 50 cups for him for innate agility. Oh goody, a garter. Why does a dark turkey have a garter? Do I want to know? Maybe I don't want to know. No map for this area. Okay, great. Well, let's hope it's just a straight climb. Hmm. Y'all aren't having any um, lag with the stream? I just want to check because I'm periodically getting an error on the... Uh, Streaming program. Yeah, it says uh, encoding overloaded. Consider turning settings down. Seems fine. Okay, cool. All right. Good. That's a, that's a relief. Can I... Do I have access to that in here? Nope, sure don't. That's okay, it's just cheese. It's just cheese. I wonder if Axes of Evil actually does any damage to these guys. Because they're technically think they might be considered immune to yeah that's what I was afraid of okay well now I know
really love that heal all button. Oh hey, a ring of truth. That's nice. I don't really need it, but that's nice. Man, lame. Good thing it totally wears off after the battle. It's not like poison where you stay poisoned. Treasure. That is what you are. Ooh, gold nugget. That's like a like a literal treasure. Ooh. No, wait. No, I went the wrong way. Curses. Curses. There we go. That's the correct direction. Oh, she's just hanging out. Hey, Imperia. Look, Godbird, I made it all the way up! To this point, which I have no idea how close it is to where I'm supposed to be going, but... I'm here! I, di I did the thing! Just checking to see if we need to heal again, but I think we're okay for now. All right, the room of switchbacks. We love switchbacks for no reason at all. Thou dark turkey! Y'all, I just thought of another good monster team name. Because y'all know we have License to Smash as our first monster team. And eventually we will get a, a second monster team. And I have already decided what that monster team's name will be. It's going to be Sack Inspectors. Well, I just figured the, the theme is along the lines of uh, things we're getting away with by insisting that we're professionals. So my, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious, which way do I want to go? 
Okay, well, this way first. Uh. Upsy daisy. Dark Dulahan. Sure, let's see what that does. I don't think I don't think we've done that before. Rude. Okay, all right. That was easier than I anticipated. I think we want to go out that warden first. Anyway, but the theme is, you know, we have our license to smash because we're destroying things, but we also have to examine sacks and cabinets. And I just figured license to smash and sack inspectors. A perfect pairing. Hey, look, we found the demon whip. Um, the demon whip is another cursed item, but if you purify it with saint sashes, it becomes the scourge whip, which is the second best whip in the game. Uh, problem is we already have the best whip in the game because we are overachievers who got it as early as we had access to it. Now I think we need to heal. There we go. Okay, so that was the only thing out here was the Scourge Whip. Sorry, the Demon Whip that we can purify into a Scourge Whip. Blah, 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 blah. Back up here. Um... And then down. Ugh, get out of here, you dark ministers. No, wait. Crud! I meant to go across and then to the left, not down. There we go. Okay, it's fine. I got this. I know where I'm going. Not like I have a map or anything. It's fine. Oh goody, so many ways to go. Ink. This way. And 
this way? I think. Really? Okay. Well, woke me back up again, so I guess I can't be too mad. Put me to sleep and then wake me back up. Wake me up inside. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm not that sorry, let's be honest. I'm pretty sure this is the, right, the direction I wanted to go. I guess we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> We're like in the interior part of uh, the Irie. Does this dungeon remind ever anybody else of, like, Legend of Zelda, like, fire temples? That's what it feels like to me. Like, specifically, like, the dragon roost on in Wind Waker. And, um... The Goron temple in uh, Ocarina of Time. The, like, the second one. The second dungeon of the game where all the, the Gorons are like, can we eat rocks? And you're like, um, yes, you can eat rocks. And earn obscene sashes. How convenient. Definitely worth the walk. It's not like I can't buy those at the casino for, like... Yeah, it's the, it's the spiraling paths, I'm thinking. And then, like with um the outside of the mountain climbing up that's the bit that makes me think of the wind waker temple Up this way, back down this way, now up this side, back down this side. It's fine, we don't mind going around our elbows to get to our thumbs. some feathers on the ground that's probably a good sign right
Jessica is going to be due for an incidental level up soon. Just running in circles. Because that's how we do. That's good enough. Alright, time to make a bitch pay. Humans! What are humans doing in my domain? And that color! You are not of the Dark Realm. It seems you have strayed into a place you are not welcome. But at a good time, I was getting bored of watching this egg. I'm sure the Lord of Darkness would permit me to enjoy a little distraction. Yeah? Fight me, bruh! Fight me! Okay, pretty sure this guy is just, like, a big monster and can't do the, like, wave of ice bullshit. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. But I also feel like he can uh, cast fire at me. So we're going to cast in Salatl, which protects us from fire and ice spells. I just increased our defense, you turkey. Fucking turkey. Fine. That's what full heal is for. Boop, 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 boop. And we're gonna do Yegas first, I guess. Dang it, Yangus! Well, his attack power is still doubled, even if, uh... Dang it! Wanted to go Super Saiyan. We're gonna give it one more shot. Super Saiyan. And that's why we cast in Salatl. <laughs> no, Super Saiyan! Gosh dang it. I just want to go Super Saiyan. Is that too much to ask? Nope. 
All right, if it doesn't work on this turn, we're just attacking. Nope, okay, we're just attacking then. No, not my Ensilatl. I need my Ensilatl! Ouch. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna attack. Elm Splitter Gemin. Multi heal everybody. I think she still needs to psych up one more level. Fuck those guys, hey? And that's what we mean when we say Jessica kind of becomes the primary damage dealer. Use Yangus to reduce their defense, and then Jessica comes in and just cracks the whip. Get your, get your fucking dark turkey out of here, you... All right, fine. <laughs> Ooh, that's a problem. We need that oomph. He'll probably live. We can we can risk another turn. Dang it, her oomph is gone. Do not be shocked. Nobody's shocked here. This is not shocking. Dang it, Angelo! You turd! You were supposed to heal us, you turd! Turd burger! Turd burger! Alright, fine. Oh, okay, that bitch is dead. Fine. That's chill. I figured he had to be close, right? Alright, now they're all dead. Really? No incidental level up for Jessica? That's interesting. so strong of course Imperia she brought you here from the world of light to defeat me what a fool to think she could get the better of me if I die I'm taking her egg with me regret the day she tried to trick Gemma What was that noise? What? What happened? My egg. My baby. In pieces. Imperia. I... I'm so sorry. Do not blame yourselves. 
I should never have put you in this position. I am truly sorry for having brought you here and for subjecting you to such a bitter experience. I will take you back to the eye so you may return to the world of light. Mother, wait! My baby? Yes, it's me, Mother. Do not feel sad. I wanted to give something to the people who came to help me, to thank them. Give them something? But you're... I know, Mother, but I can still help them. I am just a soul. I have no form, but if they lend me their bodies, I can make them fly. Let me travel with you. I can help you. It is true. If my child can be of help to you on your quest, I hope you will accept. Please grant my son his wish to accompany you. <laughs> she is very chill about her Harry Potter bird ghost child thing. Yes. Um... But this is what we came here for. We came here to ask Imperia to help us fly so that we could continue chasing down the Lord of Darkness. And she's... We didn't even get a chance to tell her about it. She's just like, hey, help me save my baby. And then she's just going to kick us out. So good thing the kid's got a head on his soul jurors. Thank you. I... I cannot express my gratitude enough. I will change into a form that you can carry around with you. Whenever you need me, just call. Godbird Soulstone. So, basically, we can't use it here in the world of darkness. We can only use it in the world of light. I think I forgot to pick up a seed of agility. Well, that was a singularly unusual affair. To think, there is a whole other world. If I hadn't witnessed it with my own eyes, I'm quite sure I would never have believed it. And if that strange eye wasn't there, I'd be convinced it had all been a dream. All right, so... By the power of the Godbird Soul Stone, we can now... Fly. And this, in fact, opens up a whole extra grouping of things for us to go do. Um, and we will pick up with those things. Um tomorrow night but you can see we now can fly so we can go pretty much anywhere in the world that we want to go we um me personally you know where i want to go i want to go Caravan down this way. This one. Aha. There it is. I want to hit up the Mystic Spring. Whoop! Ah! I forgot the button to land. Uh, is it that one? Nope. Is it that one? Yes! Yes, it was that one. <laughs>
Here we go. Teleportation is still probably superior, but it's fine. like ages since we last came here I want you to know how much I appreciate your hard work trying to lift the curse how are you feeling you must be exhausted I want you to know that well I would understand if you decided to give up why do I say that well my father told me something the other day he said that you have your own life to lead that it wouldn't be right for us to drag you along with us for the rest of your life. You've done so much for us already. I promise I would never think badly of you if you decided to leave and go your own way. I mean, we're pretty invested now, dear. All right, let's go see about Princess Minnie. I don't know if we picked up enough mini medals to get another prize, but we're going to find out. I think we picked up at least four in the World of Darkness slash Impichu area. Yes, yes. Yay! Metal King Helm, gracias. When the total reaches 99 medals, one shall bestow upon you a dangerous bustier. An expression of our gratitude for your sterling efforts. Um, and we definitely want that. That is an item, one, that changes Jessica's appearance. And two, is an ingredient in the best armor for Jessica. So we, we need that. Um, and that is going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, when we pick up tomorrow night, we're going to do a whole bunch of side questy clean up -y things. Um, and then we will continue on with the story. But first we've got a, this literally, literally opens up so many more things us to go do it's pretty fantastic so um as always if you um if this is your first time hanging out with us thank you for joining us um you can catch all of the previous streams on my youtube channel which is linked um in my twitch profile so if you're curious please like and subscribe you know how we we say that all the time um and once again, if you enjoyed the lovely, absolutely charming artwork that my friend Liz made for me, please go to Liz's Instagram, at Liz Brawley Draws, and it is right there um, in the artwork as well. So thank you all so much. We are going to pick up here tomorrow night at 830. Have a lovely Tuesday evening.